Hello everyone, I'm Darcy Bono, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can very easily paint a resplendent yellow gold in a matter of seconds. Now, I totally understand this sounds like a snake oil sales pitch, however, this is just a two-step process, and one of those steps is just priming the miniature. Here I have the pauldron of an Adeptus Custodes, and it has been primed using Vallejo Silver Spray. This is my go-to metallic primer because it has more of a matte finish than other metallic primers on the market. Many metallic primers have a gloss finish, which causes any subsequent glazes to kind of run down into the recesses and congeal in on themselves. The more matte finish of this primer allows you to easily smooth glazes over top without having to worry about them pooling quite as much. One final thing before we get started, make sure your Vallejo spray primer is the black can. The previous version was white and suffered from the same gloss finish that other primers on the market currently do, but the black can is awesome and anything that goes over it goes on very smoothly. So all that being said, let's get started. All right, the only thing you will need is Army Painter Speed Paint Sand Golem. That is it. Next, grab your silver primed miniature, or a piece of a miniature in this case, and all you're gonna do, straight from the bottle, we're not diluting this at all, coat it all over the surface. Now this is a textured surface, so there is absolutely nothing to this. You can slather it heavily all over it, and it spreads beautifully. You'll need to be a little tiny bit more careful on smoother surfaces, which I'll show you in the next shot, but as you can see, I am absolutely drenching this thing. The more that you put on it, the more of an orange kind of recess you'll have to it, where the more thinly you apply it, the more yellow it's going to look. So you'll see in just a sec, it'll start to pool a little bit on these flat surfaces due to the amount that I'm putting on. But one of the things I really like about the Army Painter Speed Paints is how long they remain workable without actually needing any medium. This is just a damp brush. I'm not doing anything with, with medium and I'm just lightly moving this around. So that is it as far as applying sand golem to textured surfaces. You can apply it with reckless abandon. Let's see how it looks on a smoother surface like that of a space marine. So here we are again with our Vallejo Silver Prime surface and this is sand golem once again straight from the bottle. When working with smoother surfaces like this, don't drench your model like we did on that textured surface. Work in portions. So smooth it over one part of the model, make sure that it's nice and even and it's not pooling and oversaturated, and then move on to the next portion. Now, I know this hasn't dried, but that is an absurdly gorgeous color for how little effort we're putting into this. Let's see what it looks like on the entire Space Marine. One tip for when you're doing this method, make sure you paint every single thing that is not going to be gold first. The reason we're doing this is so we don't get any paint over top of our gold glaze once it's done. Now, if you get any paint over top of your silver that's going to later be gold, that is no problem. You can touch it up with basically any silver. But that being said, I used Vallejo Game Air Silver because it's a super smooth, very thin, but opaque silver. You can use it with a regular brush. It goes on beautifully smooth. So you can use that to touch up anywhere where you get paint on your silver before we turn it gold. And speaking of which, this is played at high speed just so we don't get really bored. Look at that, goes on perfectly smooth. And again, I'm working in portions just so I can verify whether it is pooling or not and can adjust accordingly. And honestly, that's all there is to this. If you happen to get any of this yellow glaze on anything else, it's actually really easy to correct as it's already semi-transparent, so it's not gonna deeply saturate whatever surface it touches. All you have to do is while the paint is still wet, just rinse your brush and then use it to wipe away anywhere the paint is not supposed to be. So other than watching out for other surfaces you've already painted and keeping your eye on any pooling, that's it. This is a one and done process for a very beautiful gold. And honestly, Space Marine armor is probably as hard as it gets outside of trying to paint a vehicle with this. You could absolutely apply this with an airbrush to vehicle panels, but overall, it's not really meant to be spread over giant smooth surfaces. You're gonna have very visible brush strokes. So if it's a small smooth surface, it's fine, or if it's a large textured surface, it's fine, but not both large and smooth.
And here's what it looks like once it's completely dried. Bob is looking sharp, especially given how little effort we put into that. I didn't even highlight this up anymore. If you wanted to edge highlight, you could use Liberator Gold. That'll give you a nice light white gold edge to it, but this does not have any additional highlights. This is just sand golem over top of that silver, and that is it. And yes, zoomed in like this, you can see a few imperfections like mold lines and a few nubs here and there. He was an eBay rescue whose entire purpose was to teach you how to paint gold. I wasn't going to waste too much time making him look flawless. Anyway, if you'd like to see how I painted the other components of this miniature, especially that spectacular Celestial Lion's Blue, there's a link in the video description that will take you to my Ko-fi page. It operates as a digital tip jar as well as a blog where I can put all my written color recipes. So feel free to check that out if you'd like to know how I did the rest of the color scheme. That being said, thanks very much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to support the channel, you can treat yourself to a shopping spree at any of the affiliate links in the video description. Thanks so much again for watching, and until we meet again, happy painting, everyone.